happy Thursday, y'all. I hope that everyone's Thursday is off to a great start. I don't know if you can see off the back window there, but it's a bit dreary here um, in the panhandle of Florida. So when the sun isn't shining, sometimes you have to bring the sunshine yourself. So that's what I hope to do today for all of you through the my Thursday thoughts, um, some inspiration for you. And honestly, I wasn't sure that I would have a message for today, but then I remembered I'm me and I can talk about anything or I can make up, uh, well not make up, but I can bring up any topic to think about. But anyway, this is what, um, these are the thoughts that went through my mind this morning as I thought about, hey, what do I have to share with my peeps today? And I was, I'm going through a transition at work. And with that being the case, what I noticed is um, just some back history or backstory, and I ask you to bear with me because I'm trying something new to just speak in the moment and let my thoughts flow. So if I have to pause for a moment to um, capture my thoughts, just bear with me, okay? So I'm going through this transition at work, and my department is really, really small. Um, last year we went through some restructuring and I lost a position, and so it's just been myself and my part-timer. And like I said, I'm going through some transitions um, with the department. Uh, I will be leaving the department. And uh, what I've noticed, though, is that my assistant, how she has just stepped up. So here's the thing. Um, when I had my previous um, counterpart uh, before all of the restructuring went down, uh, both of them are young women. And I saw them as my babies, right? because I think I shared, I'm pretty sure I shared in some previous videos that I'm a mother. So I bring that mothering aspect to all of my relationships. It's just who I am. So that's who you get. And if you don't want a mother, then I'm probably not the one who should be in your life. Hey, know what, know what works for you and know what you need. And so I saw them as my babies, as a way to you know, teach them, nurture them, help to develop them, um, just like I would do with my own children, because just as I would want my children to succeed, I want anyone who's connected with me um, to succeed. And, and what I've seen as a result of her recognizing that I'm transitioning out of the department is I'm seeing her bloom, I'm seeing her blossom. I'm seeing the one that's left um, and the one that's gone on, she's definitely blooming and blossom blossoming in her new position. But the one that is, has remained with me, my part-timer, I've just seen her, you know, um, take an initiative and in developing some things because she recognizes that I'm leaving. And then the thought hit me, right, is that sometimes you have to move out of another's way for them to fully bloom and for them to truly shine. I think about that with my children as they are growing and beginning to, you know, walk in the, the path that is uniquely theirs is that when you are in a position of oversight, authority, a mother, you get to, to, up to a certain point, craft those experiences and shape um, those interactions in a way that, in the way that you think uh, is best suited to the person. But then at some point, right, you have to trust that what you've instilled in them, the ways that you've developed them, the ways that you've nurtured them, the things that you've taught them, it's time for you to move out of the way and see if any of it took hold. And that's what I'm finding in this transition with my department and my part-timer and what I'm finding at this stage of life, even with my own children. I remember when I was a teenager and my mom was so concerned about whether or not I was going, or a young, more so a young adult when I went off to college, she was so concerned with whether or not I was going to make the right decisions, if I was going to go out, lose my mind and just become wild. And I remember telling her, you know, as this young, young um, woman, older teenager, probably 18 or 19, you have to trust the foundation that you built. And even if I go off and I go buck wild and lose my mind, that's on me. That's not a reflection of you. You did what you needed to do. Now it's up to me to take what you've instilled in me and do my part. And so that is what I wanted to share with you today is that when you are 
mentoring someone, when you are mothering someone, fathering someone, parenting someone, leading someone, you must do so with the foresight that at some point they are going to go on or move on without you. And so you need, so the best thing to do is make sure that you prepare them. You must prepare them to be able to stand in your absence. And your absence is what will cause them to shine. It is what will cause them to bloom. So I was a little bit saddened by this transition. And then you know me, I'm going to flip the script, right? Because that's what I do. Shift in perspective um, to see how how I have interacted and operated in this young lady's life to see that beginning to take off, to see that beginning to take off in my children. And I sit back and relish and I did my part. Now someone else will come along in the journey and connect with my my part-timer. I'm saying a part-timer because I don't, you know, I didn't get permission prior to this video to say her name, but I trust that the right people will come alongside her and continue building upon the foundation that was laid. So lead with the foresight that you want everyone under your charge and care to be able to sustain and withstand on their own. So be blessed everyone this Thursday. Hope you have a great weekend and um, just know that you're loved, you're valued, and you are appreciated and you matter.